electric piano sound we're going to talk about is the Honer Pianet, which can be heard on Nursery Crime, Foxtrot, Genesis Live, Selling England by the Pound. It was replaced by the RMI right at the start of 1974. So uh, the Key Suite Library does have a Pianet that looks like the one that he used a similar look like here's an another version that's a, an older model the pianet n is the one that you see if you uh, are a fan of the beatles and the zombies which i am and i believe tony was um probably why he chose this instrument um and when you choose the default basic dry, which is what I did, I always like picking presets that don't have any effects on them. Uh, I like to make my own, but you know, you, could, you if you have this, go for it. Uh, but it says recorded with an additional acoustic mic. That's a little weird. I wonder what they're talking about. So you load up the sound. That's what the instrument sounds like not plugged in. So they recorded the sound, the mechanical sounds of the instrument, which I have to say is pretty cool, but not practical to what we're doing. So I'm turning the acoustic off and I'm bringing the DI up. And I actually, before I hit record, this was not all the way up. I just turned it all the way up. So let's see if this sounds like uh, I am the walrus, right? Sure does. The Pianet did not have velocity sensitivity. This does. I mean, it was a harpsichord. It was a plucked reed. And harpsichords don't have any kind of really dynamic range. So if you want to be faithful, you can drag that out a little bit. I have some. And now for the effects, um, Tony Banks ran stuff through Leslie's up until 1976. And he never used them fast, left them on slow. It was almost like a chorus before anyone came up with a chorus pedal for him. You know, it's, it's kind of funny. I could imagine when he got his first chorus pedal, he was like, finally. Because he wasn't playing, um, you know, he wasn't playing like Jimmy Smith or the meters or anything like that with a fast Leslie. So, uh, and he ran a lot of stuff through it. So I chose a 147 because that is the one that had preamp pedals. Um, uh, 122s were for console organs like the B3 and the C3. So uh, once I selected the 147 as my, I had one, it looks exactly like that, like same sticker color. Uh, 147 amp and then the cabinet is the default and we have it on slow so if i turn these on and on i've enabled them oh look it starts spinning it's pretty cool do you want to hear it fast So I don't know if Tony had a 147. Um, I know I've seen pictures of a wooden Leslie. And I know he had some of the later Leslies. So I don't know what it is. And, you know, it doesn't seem like you can change. I see miking things here, but I'm clicking on it and it's not giving me a mic. By the way, this is the exact mic that I mic my bottom Leslie with. I only have one. And it's with the one that I'm talking into now, the R Electro Voice RE20, which is like famous as a broadcaster mic. You see them in podcasts a lot and uh, for bass cabinets. So uh, this looks like they have a stereo emulation that these look are probably like U87 condensers. 
So um, I'm not messing around with any of the defaults. I could, I'm sure I could do all this, but I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to uh, play some Suppers Ready. next part needs a volume pedal to swell, which I'm not going to do. These did not have sustain pedals, but they did come with a, they probably called them, them a swell pedal. And if you find a used one, you'll probably never find the pedal. But I think they're kind of easy to wire up. Uh, did he use the original expression pedal or did he use a volume pedal? I don't know. Um, sounds pretty cool. I'm not a being this with any recordings. Um, I'd like to have a video for once that does not get flagged <laughs> for copyright claim. Maybe I'll make money at this someday. Um, now, uh, the other thing we can put in the chain is a fuzz to get musical box. <laughs> go to the pedals here. Now, he did have a Fender Blender. I know he had a Fender Blender with the RMI. I don't, and I think the Fender Blender was made in the late 60s. Uh, but I listened to Genesis Live before I checked this out, and the Fender Blender kind of adds an octave, like an oct octava, if you're familiar with Jimi Hendrix pedals, and it seemed like it was maybe too busy. So, I don't know, this might be like the satisfaction fuzz, I forget. But it's going to be loud. That sounds pretty cool. And obviously didn't practice it. My goodness, what a what a sham I am, right? So, um, do you want to try another fuzz? Let's try another fuzz. That didn't do what I thought it would do. Let's try classic fuzz. <laughs> Sounds nice. Um, you want? Let's try the Fender Blender. It's funny. The Fender Blender is in pitch, so they're really classing that. I believe it is a germanium fuzz. loud, but it actually sounds right, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah. That sounds really cool. So here it is. A key suite, PN at N, basic dry, turned up and on the DI, turned off the acoustic, and then amplitude, fender blender, tweaked the volume, um, Leslie 147 amp, and Leslie 147 cabinet. See, IK Multimedia has the digital rights to Leslie, but it's weird. Isn't it weird that um, UVI can take a picture of it? They can say Honer P and M, but it's called Planet N. Isn't that weird? This is why I don't. Another reason why I don't publish my sheet music because I know it's illegal and someone's gonna shut me down at some point. So, um, again, hope these videos are helpful. All right, I'm gonna do a second video shortly with uh, the next piano, the RMI.